What I have here was rated one of the best sneakers of 2020. But is it a sneaker? Is it a clog? Is it slippers? What is it? I don't know, but we about to find out. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Read My Soul and I'm here with another review for you. First things first, I gotta say shout out to all the people that supported my last video. It's been a while. I just want to say thank y'all. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. I will say disclaimer, I do not post all the time. I will post here and there. You know, it's very difficult to get sneakers for retail. It's very difficult to get sneakers if you don't have a plug or something like that so sometimes i'm not able to give y'all as much content i was as i would like so to all my new subscribers thank you for subscribing first things first thank you for hitting that subscribe button thank you for showing support to my uh last videos you know a lot of my sneaker videos are starting to do numbers again on youtube so that's an amazing feeling but today i am extremely excited to show y'all what i have in this box which is crazy because y'all see the title so y'all already know what's in the box this is a big box <laughs> for the shoe that we have i've been trying to get this shoe since it released in 2020 i mean it's about to be 2022 and i'm just now getting my first pair and the crazy thing is if you watch my last video i kind of talked trash about yeezy supply and i got this shoe within like the first 10 minutes off of yeezy supply i ordered it friday we're recording this on sunday and the shoe is already here so that is crazy amazing shipping if you haven't been paying attention or if you don't know kanye west is in a little bit of trouble when it comes to shipping i guess in california the shipping uh better business bureau you got to ship them fast i don't know go look it up for yourself the, the fact that kanye west you know it does horrible when it comes to shipping this was amazing for them to get it to me so quickly and i'm excited to just look at this shoe and see what it is. See what it's like on feet and everything. So I'm, I'm not gonna talk no more. Let's get off into it. I got my knife, wifey behind the ones and twos. She's kinda excited for this. We're both really excited for this. And the fact that I got it off Yeezy Supply is crazy. So let's go ahead, man. No more talking. Let's just go ahead and get off into it. Let's cut away from you children. Remember I said that. Don't cut in, don't cut in front of you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, let's get rid of that thing. Get rid of that there. And we have the box now. All it has right now is a UPC with the style number on it and a, 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 a box and, and the, the size that it is. Um, so let's get off into it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It was kind of weird because at first it has nothing on the box, but it has foam and then runner in it. So i listened again my size is a size 10 but i was told to go up a full size which you never see that you always hear somebody say go up half a size but they said go up a full size with this so i did let's get off into it oh man oh man you have the yeezy vermilion foam runner My first time having a foam runner and they are different yo i've never i've never even had a crop it's the closest thing i'm gonna get to a red october unless i hit the lottery because i'm not spending that much let's get both of these out of here okay yeah i don't know why they did this but all of the information ooh, ooh. Ooh, got a lot going on y'all got a part of me it's been a while since i did this yeah all of the information is actually inside the box 
which is very different. I don't know why they did that. I would love for Kanye or some represent representative of the Yeezy brand to just explain to us some of the things that they do. This is different. This is really different. Crazy. It even has an R in there, which I, I guess is um like, you know, like the quality assurance stamp in there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, it's Yeezy Foam Runner size 11 made by Adidas. Vermil, Vermil, Vermil. What this is called the Vermilion colorway, which I guess is probably like a kind of red kind of thing. And they look like almost pinkish. It almost looks like an infrared. The only brand it has on it is like right here. In the sole, it says Adidas. Even the tag is like a sticker. It's like a sticker on there. And um, it says size 11. These were made in China, which a majority of these were made in America. I think this is the second one to be made in China. I think when it comes to the ink process, they have to do it in China. I don't know. I guess the uh, the other like clay mix ones was the other ones they did in China. And I guess it's because they couldn't get the color right they couldn't inject the color into it yeah man this is this is wild like babe what you think about these real quick i like the color more than i thought that i would if you've been following me from the beginning i used to be a jordan heavy character and all my shoes were black and red black and red red and black white and red black white black it was always a mixture of those three colors only maybe blue shoes i have were like the flint 13s which is like my favorite flints like those are like my favorite jordans all time the flint 13s and the cool gray 11s a majority of everything else had had red white or black in it even the true blue threes have red in it so you know it's been a while since i've had an all red shoe i've been kind of going with those neutral tones been messing with the easy brand a lot um, since I left Nike in about 2014, I don't have many red sneakers, so this is very different. And of course, out of all of the foam runners I wanted, I got the one <laughs> that doesn't really match with anything that I have. I got to put these on feet to see what they feel like. I want to see if they're too big, too small. Um, my homie Air Mikes, he has... Um, he has all of them, basically. <laughs> he pretty much has all of them, and he does a size 10, and he's like a size nine. So, you know, I listen to him, and I'm going, I went up that full size, and I want to see how it feels. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely could have probably did the 10. I definitely could have did the 10, but for me, this feels more comfortable. Yeah, no, I would say stick to the full size up. I would say stick to the full size up. Yeah, I'm starting to feel it. Yeah. Let me put it on my bad foot. The left side is my bad foot. <laughs> Let's see. But yo, they feel super comfortable. Like, super comfortable. They look weird on feet. I'm not even going to lie to you. They look weird on feet, bro. But they comfortable, man. Like, yo, this is crazy. Like, I've never had something like this. This is different. Oh, man. Yeezy Foam Runner. Wow. The tag says size 11. Yeah, I would say stick to the stick to the full size up with these. Oh, you think they can hear that? I hope y'all don't hear my uh <laughs> I got my uh my dryer on right now. You wanna just turn it off? I got my dry I had my dryer running. Hopefully y'all y'all can't hear that. Y'all might be able to. It don't matter. Y'all rocking with your boy. I'm gonna put some music over it so y'all ain't gonna hear it. But yeah, these are, yo, these are different. Babe, how you feeling about them right now? I really wanna touch them when I hold one. Hold on. Yo, the on feet on this is gonna be fun. This is definitely gonna be fun because now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear with this. But this is the first foam runner I have in the house. Of course, you know, you know, everybody, I saw these on the Stock X before they released maybe like a month ago and they were like, I think it was a size. I don't know what size is up there, but it was like a. I'm a screenshot. I'm gonna show y'all a screenshot right here. But it was like nine million dollars. It was ridiculous. It was like ninety nine point ninety nine. I was like, yo, that's ridiculous. I think somebody was trolling to see if somebody would spend ten million on these. But to have them in hand, to get them from Yeezy Supply is crazy. And they got here super fast. It's Sunday. FedEx got them here on a Sunday. How you feel about them, babe? Oh, <laughs> my wife is trying to try them on. <laughs> I just wanna feel what it feels. You wanna feel what it feels like? like? Yeah. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these was these are supposed to be made out of algae. They do feel like Crocs. Yeah, I've never they had used Crocs. To wear those to serve. Yeah, my wife used to wear Crocs, Crocs to serve, so I never had Crocs on. So, yeah, they definitely got a Croc feel to it. Um, these are, these are different, man. The vibe that I'm in though right now, as a as a father with a full time job and 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 a side job and and kids and all of that good stuff married this is the vibe i'm in right now i'm not even gonna hold you i'm in for comfort if i can be comfortable but still break necks that's like the best 
thing for, for me right now. And, and the Adidas brand with Boost and Yeezy using Boost in most issues, now something like this um, is, is, is crazy, man. This is different. You know, this was 70, this is a what, $80 shoe. This is $80 retail after taxes, it was like 95. And these are reselling for like $200. That's crazy, you know, for for such a, a, a out of this world, out of this box type shoe. I remember when people first saw this, they, you know, they went in on it, but now it's the fashion statement. Now everybody wants them. This is wild. Like they feel super comfortable. And I would, yeah, I would highly suggest listening to them. You know, there's no half sizes in this. So if you're a nine and a half, you might, you, you, you gotta go 10. If you're a 10, I would say go that 11. Me personally, I'm a, I'm a 10 and I went the 11. But if you, if you got narrow width feet, if you don't have wide feet, you'll be fine going true to size, especially if you like that snug fit. These are freaking crazy. But yeah, man, shout out to all the new subscribers, man. I am in the middle of trying to figure out what I wanna really do with this page. You know, I'm not really into the, a lot of the Travis Scott shoes. I'm not into Jordans as much anymore. They just, just keep making every different colorway of those. And it's just not that special to me. So the Yeezy brand has been giving me that feeling like I used to get when I first got Jordans and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, you probably won't see me again. I might get the cool gray 11s. I'm really looking forward to getting the cool gray 11s and the bread ones. Those are like the two shoes that I want. But other than that, I don't have anything in my sights. I do want another pair of these. I want like one of the tan pairs or the more neutral colorways of this just because I feel as though I can really rock those and like, you know, like really do what I want to do with these. These are like, these are more of a fashion statement. You know what I mean? This is more of a, you know, like you, you, you go to one of those formal, you know, you go to one of those little, you know, dinners and you throw a suit on or something and you put these on. You know, I don't know. It's just, it seems a little bit more not, it doesn't seem like an everyday kind of shoe just because of the color. The silhouette itself, the actual model, I feel as though is an everyday, just throw on, do your thing type shoe. But these, these red ones, boy, these is different. I'm gonna see what's in store for these. I don't know what I can rock with these right now. I mean, I got a few things. A few things I can rock with them. But I don't have much. Um, so this is gonna be very interesting to see how I pull these off or if I will pull these off or what I'm gonna do with them because these are out there. I'm excited though. I'm really excited to have these shoes. What's going on, baby? Yeah, so that's the question. Would I call them a sneaker? I don't know. What would you call them? What would you call them, babe? I don't know. Probably not a sneaker. I mean, the bottom is sneaker-esque, but I feel like... It's a clog. It's like a water shoe. I just feel like... <laughs> Which is crazy because it shapes a lot from what I've heard from, from a lot of the oh, reviews really? I watch is that you have to wear socks around them because they're gonna eat your ankles up and stuff like that so it's it is it does seem like a good beach shoe so i don't know i wouldn't i wouldn't call it a sneaker i wouldn't i would not call it a sneaker i wouldn't call it a slipper i don't want to call it a clog because that's just weird like you know but i, I can't call it a croc because croc is a clog so you know it's just i don't know it's it's something different it's something new Yeezy is, he's trying those new things. He's doing stuff for this era in this time period. And this is just one of those things that's just like, wow, you know? And it's one of the more popular shoes. Like these are reselling crazy, you know what I mean? And like I said, I'm not into the Travis Scott, so I'm not gonna buy any of those shoes. I'm not really into Jordan Lowe's. I like the first Travis Scott's, the browns with the pink laces, but I don't really, like, I wanna buy more shoes. I'm passionate about sneakers. I wanna do more content for you guys, you know, for all of you subscribers that subscribe to me. But it's just really difficult getting shoes when you don't have no connection, you don't have no plug, and you just, you know, I didn't have no bots. I just woke up like everybody else. I was actually at work in my morning meeting, and I checked out before it even started. Like, we start, at, we start at 8.06, the meeting start at 8.06, and I checked out by 8.10. So like I got them really quickly and stuff, but I didn't have any bots. I didn't have any connections. I just woke up like everybody else and copped. And when you do that, it's kind of difficult to have content at the same time because I'm not trying to pay any more resale than I have. I've actually been burnt on resale once or twice already and I haven't, maybe I should have took that as a lesson as I shouldn't pay retail. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't pay resale, I should pay retail. Um, and so yeah, it's a little difficult. So, you know, I appreciate y'all for subscribing to your boy. I'm gonna try to get y'all content as to the best of my ability. I'm not gonna lie, I'm exhausted, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. 
once again shout out to all the subscribers all the new subscribers all my old subscribers but yo this is your boy Rima. so this has been a great one i hope y'all really enjoyed this review who knows when you might see me again if not tell me how you feel about these in the comment section make sure you share this with a friend yo how do you feel about the easy foam runners i like them do you like them are they sneakers i don't know you tell me in the comment section but your boy is out of here y'all be safe peace